Hi and welcome back to The Shed. Today I want to talk to you about a new piece of software uh, by someone called Pure Function who posts on Instagram and YouTube. I'll put the links in the description. But he's come up with a really awesome bit of software for making noise with the Game Boy. So if you're interested in making music, any sort of electronic music, or if you just like playing around with new bits of software, I think this might be something for you. It's called Drone Boy. And what it does is it provides a constant signal for all the four different channels of sound on the Game Boy uh, with a really nice straightforward interface on the console itself. And you can just play around with the levels of sound, the frequencies, and get some really quite interesting sounds out of it. So I'll take a quick look at what the software is and how to navigate it. I've got a video that I put together of me messing around with it and plugging it into different effects and things. Oh, it was so much fun. Um, and then I'll check back in with you in a bit. So yeah, take a look. All right, so Drone Boy is not a cartridge that you can buy. It's not like a, a game or a piece of software in the traditional sense of the Game Boy where you'd buy the cartridge and put it in. Um, but what you can do is you can download the ROM, that's the software, um, put it onto something like a flash cart like this one. This is an EverDrive. So I put the SD card into my computer, copied the file over, plugged it in here and it loads up just like a, a regular game ROM would on here. Um, now that works fine. The only downside of things like the EverDrive is they can put, put a bit of power drain on your Game Boy, particularly if you've got something like a Game Boy Pocket. Um, anything that drains the extra power, if you've already got a backlit screen, can be a bit of an issue, uh, which was the case with some of mine. I mean, it does work fine. If I plug it in here in my Game Boy Color and load up there, just dust that screen off a bit. I love the boot screen, so I'll show you that. I'll just start and load that up now. So it's cool. It's like the Game Boy logo scrolls down. So you normally get like the Nintendo logo will scroll down and go ding. So it scrolls up and does the reverse, which I thought was a really nice touch. And this is the interface that you are greeted with. So in terms of loading from the EverDrive, it was really straightforward. It just boots to the EverDrive. And because it was the last ROM that I loaded, I just press start. Otherwise, you'd have to navigate through the menu, find the software and load it. Um, and also when you load on a Game Boy Color or on a Game Boy Advance SP, the color palette's got this lovely green to it. So it's just such a perfect match for the green Game Boy Color. I couldn't resist showing you it on this. Um, so what we've got here is an interface where you've got these four different channels of sound, which are how the Game Boy operates in terms of sound. There are two pulse channels, a wave channel and a noise channel. So your two pulse channels will also have these um, duty cycle operators. Now to swap between these screens, you press the select button. Uh, and then there's also uh, where you can adjust the frequency and the note. More about that in a little bit. So if we come back to the main screen, all I'm doing here and I can do, I'll tell you what I'll do. I've got my IKEA Freckbens speaker that is too big to sit in shot. You'll have to take my word for it though, plugged into that. Um, plug in my Game Boy there and hopefully that will be a bit easier for you to hear my sounds. So if I increase the first pulse channel, We get a steady drone there. I'll just turn that up. Um, and the second pulse channel. Third is your wave channel. And then your, <laughs> got a squeaky D-pad here. And then your noise channel. Now, Individually, it doesn't sound anything particularly special, but when you get them all going at the same time, you can get some really interesting continuous droning sounds. And then when you start playing around with the duty, and then the frequencies, and if you hold, like say we're on 264 there, if I go up and down, it'll go 265, six, and so on. If I hold B, it'll hop up and down in terms of tens, so we'll get the 40s, 30s, and so on. And if I hold A, it'll do the hundreds column. So it's a quick way of navigating around with those.
And then, this is on frequency, but you can change the note too. So if you hold these two at the same time, and I found if you hold A and then tap B, it'll swap to note. Now it doesn't say anything in the display, it still says frequency, so you have to watch this little cursor, see how it moves up and then down. So now it's on the note, and I can change that, um, so I can move the notes up. And then if I go back to this screen, I can change the levels of each different channel. I'm like an almighty racket. <laughs> I appreciate it's not for everyone. I'm certainly using it as a bed with other music going over it or with like drums and loops built in or looped through to effects. You can have so much fun with this and it's nice to have that constant 8-bit kind of vibe to the background of any music you're making. So as soon as I'd seen this um, on Pure Functions page, I wanted to try it. So I've been following its progress in terms of the development and I really wanted to have it go. So as soon as it was announced for release and you can simply go to um, his GitHub page and download the ROM for nothing, which I think is, is wonderful and very generous. And then I got that and copied it across to my cartridge straight away. Now, as I've said before, the flashcards like the EverDrive can be a bit of a drain on your battery. Um, and also you've got the thing of, of loading up to the main menu and then going into the game. And I love this software so much that I got in touch with uh, a friend on Instagram, uh, GameDuckUK. And he has very kindly made me a custom Drone Boy cartridge, including the little label there. Um, so what this one does is it loads up directly to the Drone Boy software. So let's try it on a different Game Boy this time because you've seen it on the Game Boy Color. So I've got my DMG here. This one's got an IPS screen, so it should be nice and clear for you to see. Um, this Game Boy was from Retro Modding. I've got another video elsewhere of me doing the build for this one. Um, but lovely clear screen on this one. And uh, again, we've got that gorgeous boot up screen there with the, the software logo coming up from the bottom. Uh, so now we're on a much more monochrome interface, but it's the same sort of thing in terms of navigating your way around. All the controls are just the same um, and it boots straight up, which is nice and easy. So that's it on this screen. Uh, going through the menus again, it's nice and clear, crisp, easy to read, easy to follow. Dead simple, really. And you do get the instructions as well. So I've not just had to fudge my way through and find out all these different things. And in the video I'll show later, uh, you'll see me trying this out and making reference to the instructions because I printed them out. I find it a bit easier working that way. Uh, so let's have a look on the Game Boy Advance SP. So obviously with the SP, the Game Boy Advance cartridges were a bit smaller, so it does poke out a little bit. Got the Game Duck logo on the back of these cartridges. How cool is that? Um, and then again, should just boot straight up. So we get the main Game Boy boot screen and then straight into Drone Boy. So I love that being able to just get straight into the software. And because I've modified this Game Boy Advance with the sound input, again, um, if I remember, I'll put a link to the video up here for where I, where I did that mod. It's been a really good mod. This has been my favorite Game Boy in terms of making sounds. And we get that same display as we do on the Game Boy Color. If you want to, on a Game Boy Advance SP, if you press the trigger buttons, uh, you can change and, and stretch to fill the whole screen like that if you want to. Uh, or if you prefer it pixel perfect like me, but a bit smaller, you can keep it that way. I'll just do it the other way, just for the sake of having something different this time. And we'll get going with that. I'll turn the speaker up. One other thing, <laughs> sorry, I'll turn it down a little bit. One thing I forgot to mention is that when you are on the notes, if you just simply press down and up, it goes through the notes. Uh, if you hold A, it will go up three notes at a time. Uh, or if you hold B, it will go up an entire octave, um, which is quite good for doing like different riffs and funny little rhythms when you've got effects running through.
you can have fun with that. Um, so yeah, that is Drone Boy in a nutshell. It's cool, isn't it? It's good, isn't it? So that's about it from me regarding this Drone Boy. I really recommend you try it out. If you haven't got a Game Boy or a flash cartridge or anything to try it out on, you can just get an emulator and run it on there. The actual software itself is free and I'll link that in the description. If you've got a Windows computer, BGB is a really good emulator for running Game Boy Sound in particular. So that should sound really good. So you can have a play around with it without having to pay anything. But in terms of this, I'm really glad I got the custom cart. I'm gonna be using it a lot. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna leave you with a bit of footage of me playing around with this software um, with a bunch of different effects and things run through my Korg NTS-1. So if you wanna stick around and watch that, you might wanna see just what sort of sounds you can get out of this thing. Otherwise, I will see you for the next video. So cheers, bye.
So if you sat through all of that, thank you. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. I'll see you for the next video. So drop a like, drop a comment if you uh, want to say anything about this. Definitely check out the software if you're interested in giving it a go. Subscribe if you want to see more like this and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.